Trump again sounding off on Robert Mueller's his upcoming back-to-back -back hearings. Here's the president on Twitter saying, again, no obstruction, no collusion. The great hoax is dead. No more do-overs. Let's bring in a member of the Judiciary Committee where Robert Mueller will be testifying. He's Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Greg, you're taking all of this. Well, this man had a press conference and said he has no intention to testify before Congress. And if he is called to testify, isn't going to talk about anything that's not included in the four corners of his report. So I don't know what it is that we are going to learn as a member of the Judiciary Committee that isn't contained within the Mueller report that has been released. Okay, we've got half a dozen committees still pursuing Trump. The House Democrats are banking on a made-for-TV national spectacle of Mueller testifying. But, sir, 25 Republicans on those two committees, they're, they're saying they're going to go after Mueller for the team being biased against the president, uh, the inappropriate surveillance uh, by, under the Obama administration. And why didn't Robert Mueller probe how that Steele, anti-Trump Steele dossier factored into his work and how did it inform his work? Your take on that. Yeah, I think that's that's the information that all of us want to know. Uh, how did we get to where we were? Was the Steele dossier the only basis for the FISA warrant? And is that how the, the FISA warrant was obtained? Why didn't we investigate how that all came about if it was unreliable? A and why is your team full of people that gave money to Hillary Clinton? So there's obviously some bias there, and those are the things that I'm sure Republicans are going to want to talk about in our hearing. Yeah, to your point, Republican Mark Meadows said, yes, the Republicans are ready to go after Ro uh, Robert Mueller and cross-examine him on what they say are the flaws in his report that the you know the that the Russia probe itself was tainted by anti-Trump bias and uh, you know government spying from the beginning here's Mark Meadows quote for two years the Democrats can claim collusion strike one for months they had twisted a no indictment report into obstruction strike two now they believe a TV hearing will help them recover strike three no batters on deck your take on that yeah, I agree with Mr. Meadows. Um, I, again, I don't think we're going to learn anything that we don't already know. The, the report found no collusion. He could have, if he wanted to, opine and recommend a charge for obstruction, but he didn't do that. So if he didn't do that, obviously he didn't feel there was enough evidence to charge the president with obstruction or make that recommendation. And the Attorney General of the United States decided not to move forward with any charges or indictment. Case closed. It's over. Let's move on to talking about the things that the American people yeah, want to talk, us, Jerry talk about. Jerry Nadler is saying even the mere fact of Mueller testifying is good for their cause because it'll get the public more informed. Here's the thing. Christopher Steele's work is mentioned more than a dozen times in the, Mueller, in the redacted version of the Mueller report. Uh, I think it's important how did Mueller view the Steele dossier, whether it informed his findings. And the final point here, I want your reaction to this. It's Kamala Harris's campaign that hired Mark Elias. Mark Elias was a former Clinton top lawyer who allegedly arranged for the funding of that anti-Trump Steele dossier. Your take on what Mueller might say about that anti-Trump file? Well, I, I, I just think, I, I don't know if we're going to learn much more than we know already. Uh, as, as it relates to Mrs. Harris, I, I'm more concerned about the positions she's taken, Medicare for all, open borders, and allowing illegal immigrants to get health care. That's what I'm concerned Quickly, about. Quickly, what, what do you, what is your question? What's your, what do you want to ask Robert Mueller? Well, I would like to find out, just like all of us, how all this precipitated and how did we get to where we were and why didn't you investigate the beginnings of all this based on a FISA warrant and a Steele dossier? Congressman, thank you.